Hey everyone, I'm going to do a quick video today on sorting or alphabetizing, sorting by any field you so choose. So here I've got a spreadsheet. Uh, I've got, um, I just copied and pasted this from the internet movie database. Uh, this is just a list of Buffy the Vampire Slayer episodes. Uh, it came sorted in order, descending order of user rating, so the highest user rating. The excellent once more with feeling is the top. And then down here at the bottom, we have the regrettable beer bad episode uh, with a rating of six. And you see, quickly scroll up following column C here. You can see these go in ascending order. Here we go. So we want to sort this with the, the worst the worst rating on the top, lowest rating on the bottom. So we're going to select this range make sure you select the whole range we're going to come back to y so i've got my range selected i'm going to go to data got my data tab up here i'm going to do sort uh make sure your data my data has headers box is checked it is checked my data has headers if that top row with the column titles wasn't there i would uncheck that box but uh so my data has headers so in my sort by column it's going to give me those header values so let's do user rating then you see if I uncheck that, it just switches to column C. But we do have headings, so we're going to do user rating. Sort on values. You can do a number of things here. We're just going to go over values today. That's 99% of what people are going to be sorting on. Um, sort on values, and then it's a number. It realizes it's a number, so it's real simple. Smallest to largest or largest to smallest. Uh, we want to do smallest to largest. Tell it OK. Oh, there we go, sorted. Beer bad at the top. Wow, it's worse than the unaired pilot. Uh, and once more with feeling at the bottom. Okay, so. Okay, so you may notice here, just a little, little sidebar. Well, before we did this, the body was at number two, Hush was at number three. I just noticed that because I was surprised at those ratings. Um, so uh, when we sorted this, it uh, it decided to, it you know, these are not rounded values. And the IMDB is using probably out to the fifth or sixth decimal point. Uh, this is, uh, these values are just 9.7. As far as it knows, 9.7 is 9.7, whereas in the IMDB, it's probably like 9.71 and 9.72. Um, so it doesn't, Excel didn't know. I'm not sure how it decided to do that sort. It's not really important. Um, so let's say instead we want to do, oh, here. And let's say we want to do that back. I'm going to show you. So we're going to do a sort again, but this time I don't have this column D selected. So now Excel is usually helpful, and it's going to warn me. So my data has headers, user rating. I'll switch this to largest to smallest to go back, tell it OK. Ah, it didn't warn me. So oftentimes Excel will warn you before you're about to do that. But if you'll see, let's control Z. When I did that, so here, user vote 1707, 663. Watch what happens when I do this sort that column is not going to move. There we go. That column did not move. So now this column has become unassociated from the right row. Uh, this is I mean, this is one of the problems with the spreadsheet, uh, as you can make this sort of mistake. Um, but uh, So you always want to make sure you have your whole range selected. Oftentimes Excel will warn you that you're about to do that. It was not smart enough this time. So now this 1707 does not go with the body. So we're going to. Oh, we also apparently didn't select the last row. Okay, so let's do this again. So let's select the whole range. Sort. There we go. Back to how we got it we started um so let's do so now let's uh now one thing you can do to avoid that problem and often if i'm sending a spreadsheet to someone else um i will do this before i send it uh just uh sort of because then i i know that if things become disassociated after i send it to them it happened on their end and not on mine um 
So this, what you can do to make this a little easier to work with is you can make this a table. So I've got my range selected. I've still got it selected. And I'll do another more video sometime on tables more. But So I've got my range selected, selected. So I can do insert table. There we go. Told it my table has headers again. So now this is a table. So it has... Thanks for that helpful link, IMDB. Uh, so this is, uh, it knows that these rows go together. So now when I sort, it also, another nice advantage of a table is it lets me sort real easily by clicking that little arrow on the column header. So let's do smallest to largest. And there, now everything is staying together. I can do it the same way with my other sort. And data, sort. Smallest to largest. There we go. So, actually, let me show you. So, I just do three columns. So, now we've got the same issue. But when we do the sort this time, there we go. It sorted our, our first column, or our excluded column again, because it's a table, it locks those records together. It knows that those are all one entity. So, now, so you can also, you can sort by any number of things. So let's say we want to put this in an alphabetical order. Now that we've got this in the table, it's super easy to do. We can just sort A to Z. Uh, so then let's say instead we want to do uh, Z to A, we can do it the same way. We can go to data, sort, sort by episode. My data has headers, sort from values, Z to A. Correct. Uh, so there we go. Um, yeah, that's sorting. You can sort uh, to your heart's content.